this video, let's learn how to turn off a single phase motor automatically based on the water level. The parts you need for the project are an old mobile charger, I've already stripped the ends for ease of use, a small case, I am using a AA battery case, a relay, I've already soldered the wires to the relay for the ease of video, a water sensor, and a 2 bit female plug. Altogether, these things should just cost you a few bucks. a single phase motor starter. I have connected a light bulb to the a motor. So let's see how the, how the starter works. When I press the green switch, the bulb is on and the indicator is on. Which means the motor is on and the indicator is on. When I press the red switch, the bulb is off, which means the motor is off and the indicator is off. So let's see what's inside the starter. First, we need to find out if the red switch is normally closed or normally open. If it's here normally closed, it means that when you don't press the button, it closes the circuit. If it's here normally open, it means that it does not close the circuit when you don't press the button. Find out if a red button is normally closed or normally open. I'm, I'm going to use a tester. So now I'm not pressing the button, and there is current flowing through this point and this point. This means that this is normally closed. I press the button. There is no current flowing here. But here, which means that this is the input for the switch, this is the output. Now let's take a look at the relay. On the side where you have three pins, the side pins are for the 5 volt DC input and they control the switching. The middle pin is a common pin for the switching. This pin is normally open and this pin is normally closed. The switch is normally closed, connect the normally closed pins of the relay series to the before the switch. If your switch is normally open, connect the normally open pins parallel to the switch. Now let's put the relay in the box. Connect the relay to the switch. Since my switch is normally closed, I'm connecting the normally closed pins of my relay series to the switch. So now I've connected the relay series to the switch. Don't forget to insulate the joints and in general be careful because you are dealing with AC current. So the mobile charger needs a power supply. So let's connect the 2 pin female plug to the indicator. If you don't have an indicator, you can connect it to the output of the to the output of the starter which goes to the motor. Now let's connect the two pin female plug. Now it's connected. The polarity doesn't matter because we're connecting it to a mobile charger. Now let's connect the mobile charger. If you don't want to use the two pin female plug as it takes some space, you can directly take the circuit from a mobile charger and connect these two wires to these two solder pads. So now let's connect 
the water said so. To connect the water sensor, we need to take a wire from the mobile charger and connect it to a wire to the water sensor. We can now connect these two wires to the input DC of the relay. Since I've already soldered these two wires, I am connecting the two wires soldered wires. If you are doing this permanently, you can directly connect these two wires to the pins of the ring. Now it's all connected. Watch the connections carefully. One wire of the mobile charger is connected to one wire of the water sensor. The other wire of the mobile charger and the other wire of the water sensor is connected to the DC input of the relay. Now the circuit is ready. Let's test the circuit. So I fix the water sensor in a, in a vessel. It simulates a tank. So let's test it. First, I on the motor. You can see the motor is on. And when I pour water, That the motor is off. So now let's put everything inside the box. So now everything is in the box and I have emptied some water from the vessel. Let's see everything again. First I press the green button and the motor is on and I pour some water. Motor is off. You can also use this red button for stopping the motor. So when I press the green button, the motor is on. And when I press the red button, it's off. Now let's look at how the circuit works. This is a simulation of a starter with normally closed off switch. As you can see, the circuit is closed, hence the current is flowing through the circuit. I have done the circuit using SR latch. Let's not get into the details of it in this video. Just focus on the parts we need for this project. Consider this LED as the motor and this LED as indicator. Consider this switch as a power on switch and this as a power off switch. Let's see how it works. When I press the sw on switch, the motor and the indicator are on. Starter with normally closed off switch turns off the motor when the circuit is open. Let me open the circuit by pushing the off switch. When I press the off switch, you can see the the circuit is open, hence the motor is off. Now let's look at the modified circuit to automatically control it. Consider this whole part as mobile charger. Consider this whole part as mobile charger and it's connected parallel to the indicator. The reason to connect it to indicator is that the mobile charger is turned off as soon as the motor is turned off. We have a relay. Consider this switch as a water level sensor. As you can see, the normally open pins of the relay is connected series to the off switch. The 5 volt power is given to the relay using the mobile charger. The power supply from the mobile charger is controlled by the water sensor. Hence, when the water sensor level when the water level sensor closes to the circuit, the 5 volt power is given to the relay which opens the normally closed pins, hence the motor turns off. 
Let's turn on the motor. Now let me close the switch to simulate the water level rise. Now you can see the motor off. Now let's look at the circuit for starter with normally open off switch. Here the motor turns off and the circuit is closed. Let me turn on the motor. Now if I press, now if I press the off switch, you can see the current flow through the circuit and the motor turns off. For automatic control, the circuit should be closed when the water level rises. Hence, we need to connect the normally open pins of the relay parallel to the off switch as shown here. Let's see the demo. I switch on the motor. Now let me simulate the water level raise. Now see the motor is turned off. Thanks for watching the video. Leave your feedback in the comment section.